If you are the owner of a website, you know how time consuming it can be to update your site with new content. And with Google's algorithm updates, it's important to keep your website updated with fresh and relevant content. Internal links are one way to make this process easier for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do internal links the right way for SEO. So stay tuned. So first, what is an internal link? Now, internal links are used to link one page of a website to a different page on the same website. So what are the benefits of internal linking? Well, one of the most important optimization tactics for a website is to use internal links because they provide a superb way of improving search engine rankings as well as attracting visitors. Internal linking ha also has the added benefits of providing a better user experience by aiding site navigation and providing content that is more relevant to users. Now, by linking pages together in this way, you can create a richer user experience for people who visit your site and also help improve your SEO ranking. So what makes a good internal link? A good internal link is one that helps a reader navigate the content on your site. It should be intuitive, descriptive, and have words in common with the destination page. So how to update your website with internal links. Now, internal links are important for the user experience and it's important to ensure that you have internal links on your website. Now for new websites, internal linking is a little bit more difficult. Uh, you want to make sure that you put in some time into planning for this and do some link building early on. For existing websites, there are some links that we need to make sure we're taken care of. Now, one way we do internal linking is by anchor text. Now, anchor text can be defined as the clickable text in a hyperlink, which you see on every page of your website and it helps users navigate through pages or articles. So you're just linking between pages on your website, not external pages. That's a different type of linking. Now the anchor text can contain keywords or key phrases which you want to rank for. So having good anchor text will improve the search engine optimization efforts for your site. So internal linking is just as powerful as external linking, which what we, uh, we call backlinks. So there's two types of anchor text. Uh, one is descriptive. They describe the subject matter in a blog post or an article. And there's transactional. They're more straightforward and include words such as buy this, contact us, or learn more. So it's best to use the descriptive anchor text for internal linking purposes. Now, for example, if your anchor text is good boiler maintenance, then make sure the linking page talks about boiler maintenance. Don't go off and be talking about something else. It's very simple. Now, people tend to link too often to their money page, which is usually the home page. Uh, this will, page will probably have a lot of internal links already. So you can use Google Search Console to find out how many links are going to your home page. So in the example here, you can see uh, the number of internal links or these are just a few of them on my website, Blue Lacy SEO. And you can see they're pretty well distributed uh, with the other pages on my website, the number of internal links. That's kind of what you want to have. So how many internal links should I have? 
Well, the number of external links you should have depends on how many pages you have, what your site's architecture looks like, and how deep the topics are. So it's difficult to determine a set number of internal links that will always produce good results. My personal opinion is to have between no more be, between three and six links per page. But that is not a hard and fast rule. Some pages on your website may have a lot more content than others. Now, as an aside, you can get a powerful backlink from a trusted source. Uh, one easy way to obtain a powerful backlink is one from a Google property, such as a Google Doc. You can do this by setting up a Google authority stack. I'm not going to go into detail on how to do this. I'll leave a link in the description to uh, a page on my website uh, that explains this a little bit more. But uh, essentially, you're linking to internal pages on your website using anchor text. Google properties such as Google Docs, Google Presentation, Google Slides, they have high authority because they're Google properties. They form a link or a chain uh, or a stack, whatever you want to call them, between these elements. So since they have high authority, Google's going to reward you for your efforts. All right, how to search for unlinked content. So SEO is no longer just about keywords and backlinks. It involves maintaining the quality of your content, making sure that it's relevant to the topic, and making sure that your site doesn't have any unlinked content. Now, unlinked content is also called orphan pages. These are web pages which are not linked to or discoverable from the website. Now, to ensure that you are not missing out on potential backlinks, you need to know how to find unlinked content on your site. Okay, one way you could do this is using Google Search Console. Once you're logged in, you want to go to links on the left-hand side here. And this is going to tell you your external links and internal links. So this is what we're concerned about right now is the internal links. I have over a thousand. This is my page, our website. And what you want to do is go down to the bottom here where it says more. Click on that. This will give you a list of all the internal links that you have. Okay. Now you want to export those. You can do it on Google Sheets. Excel or just a CSV file. If I do it with uh, as Excel, it's going to create a spreadsheet with all my internal links. Expand this some more. All right, so here are all my internal links, the number of pages, and so forth. Um, some of the less important pages, like the About page, they don't have very many links. Uh, I could improve on the number of links to going to this page. Uh, these are blog posts. Maybe improve on that a little bit. Uh, but you get an idea of all your internal links. Now, Another method you could use is the free Screaming Frog audit program. Now, this is the uh, Screaming Frog, Frog program, auditing program, which you can download to your computer for free. And uh, instead of going through all the uh, steps to use this to find out about your uh, backlinks or internal links, there's an article uh, that Screaming Frog has, How to Find Orphan Pages. This is the address. I'll leave it in the description. Now, to use this, you will require, uh, you, you will have to have a SEO Spider license. 
I think this is a yearly license. I, I'm not sure how much it is, uh, but it'll tell you in the site. And if you go through those steps, uh, it might be a little bit easier uh, method to do than with the, the method from the Google Search Console, which requires you to, to look at your links and compare it with your sitemap. That a sitemap has all the pages on your website, and you can compare it to the pages that are linking uh, in Google Search Console. All right. In conclusion, it's important to ensure that you do not go overboard when attempting internal linking. Make sure you only link content that is related and relevant. And if you're trying to, to link for the term best plumber, for instance, don't create a link every time you use that keyword on your website. You will be diluting the value of the internal link. So I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, please click the like button and subscribe. And if you had, need help with your website or SEO, contact me, Ron Collins at Blue Lacy SEO. Everybody be blessed and I'll see you next time.